Hey guys, welcome to Designing a Study. Remember, a study can either be observational or experimental. Um, the experiment needs a treatment while the observational study um, does not. So that's the big difference between the two. What I'm going to do here is I really don't care about this problem. I would like to go through each one of these choices. So first, I want to talk about clustering. Okay, so this is the type of sampling. We can have a cluster sample. Okay, so what does that mean? I have, let's say, um, you know, 500 students per school, and I just need 1,000 students for a to take a survey. So a cluster sample would say, number all your schools, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then it will say, randomly choose any two okay, using a random digit table or computer generator, and what you would do is you would basically take everyone from that school, okay? There was an AP problem where the person was trying to put carpet into a building, and what he did was he numbered the floors zero through eight since there were nine floors, and then he chose all the apartments on the same floor. So cluster means to take them all, okay? So that's that guy. Um, let me get the big eraser out. So that's cluster. Convenience is pretty simple. Convenience is basically anyone who is easiest to reach. You can walk around and ask people to take a survey or be part of your study. You could be at the mall in the lunchroom. Um, and that is what a convenience sampling. And I don't think there's anything that I need to write there. Simple random sample or SRS is basically when everybody has the same opportunity of being chosen. So if there's 173 people, you'll number them 000 to 172, and then you pick as many people as you would like using a random digit table. Um, you never renumber, and again, everybody has in a one in a 173 chance of being chosen. So that's a simple random sample. Stratified, I'll get back to because that's the answer. Systematic, you have a system here. So you say, I'm going to wait by the door and every fourth person or sixth person or tenth person will answer my survey. You come up with a system. So that's what systematic is, okay? Stratified is almost like blocking, okay? So you're going to break them up into groups, so subgroups, okay? So you essentially split up... Um, you split them up into groups. So basically in this problem here, you took the whole school and you said, I'm only going to take 20 students or randomly selected from each of the freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors. So you broke them up, okay? So um, that is what a, a stratified random sample is. And so that's what these guys are. Great. Now we should talk about some bias. But before we do that, I, grab, I got this other question here. I said... In which of the following situations would it be most difficult to use a census? A census means that you have every single object, person, thing, place, whatever, of what you're interested in studying, okay? It doesn't have to be like the United States of America. It could just be whatever you're studying. So a census is you have everyone. So it's most difficult and to determine what proportion of licensed bicycles or what proportion of students in a high school or what proportion of registered students or and so on. You could pause the video and read them all. But letter E, to determine what proportion of fish in Lake Michigan are bass, it's almost impossible to get every type of fish from Lake Michigan. So that's going to be the most challenging. Remember, census means that you need every single one. Okay. All right. This part here, number nine, says a television news editor would like to know how local registered voters would respond to a question. Are you in favor of the school bond measure that will be voted on in the upcoming special election? So a television survey is conducted during a break in the evening news by listing two numbers side by side on the screen, one for the viewers to call if they approve and the other one to uh, call if they disapprove. The survey method could produce bias for a number of reasons. One of the reasons is people might not have TV. People might um, only care if they uh, strongly agree or disagree with the bond and so on. So there's different reasons. So it says, which are the... Which one of the following is the most obvious reasons? 
It uses a stratified sample rather than a simple random sample. Now, people who feel strongly about the issue are probably more likely to respond. That's also like if you saw somebody that had a sign that said, how's my driving? You're probably not going to call and tell somebody that their driving is perfect. What you would do is call and tell them if they cut you off. Okay. So... One other thing here is a researcher wishes to test a new drug developed to treat hypertension. A group of 40 hypertensive men and 60 hypertensive women are to be used. The experimenter uh, randomly assigns 20 of the men and 30 of the women, so half of them, to be in the placebo and assigns the rest to the treatment. The major reason for separate assignments for men and women, well, if you're separating men and women, it's because the men and women would react differently, okay? So... Um, and remember, you don't ever have to have equal groups. I mean, it's nice to have equal groups, but if you had 10 men in one group and 30 in the other and 40 women and 20 women, that's perfectly okay, okay. also. Uh, the major reason for separate assignments for men and women, it is a large study with 100 subjects. The new drug may affect men and women differently. The new drug may affect hypertensive and non-hypertensive people Okay, who are you blocking? Are you blocking them by hypertensive and non-hypertensive? No, so that's, no. The design uses match paired to detect, okay. So once again, match paired is um, you're going to be similar to somebody, okay? So we've seen many of them with after and before um, and so on. So that's pretty much it for this type of stuff. I'm also going to put a link into, in the, um, in my description where you can find out all the terminologies such as factor and level and convenience sample, sample and so on. Um, but please leave a comment and uh, have a great day.